Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where we're here for the Future Network Card Symposium. And I'm here with Russ Shields, who is uh, from RoadDB. Russ, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, let me start off by talking a little bit about uh, something that's being talked about very much here at uh, the Future Network Car Symposium, is intelligent transport. What's the biggest topic of conversation, do you think, in intelligent transport at the moment? Well, there's actually many. But if I had to pick one, it is how are we going to get to automated vehicles? When, how, um, what are the limitations? Um, how is it going to evolve? Um, many, many different pieces, a number of which were covered in the symposium today. And, and what's the status uh, of the standards of development for intelligent transport systems? What are the key challenges to be overcome in this arena? Challenges actually are there are too many standards and that we're trying very hard to um, harmonize the standards because they've been built um, by different parts and in different industries and are being brought together in this combination of automotive and communications. So we have a major effort to try to um, actually harmonize, eliminate, uh, assimilate different standards that are trying to address the same thing. And what about the future of mobility? What are your predictions for the future of, of mobility? How are regulators thinking about it, industry players thinking about it, and what should we expect as consumers? Expect almost anything as a consumer because we don't know yet. We are learning and it's a continual evolution. And one of the interesting things for out of the last few weeks, um, people have suddenly come to, to be aware that a shared vehicle may, no, may not be safe and that one of the new efforts in WHO was here this morning as part of the discussion will be how do we s sanitize a shared vehicle between uses um, because the evolution of what people are now suddenly being aware of where they were not um, says we have another challenge and another need which will get solved over time but it, it's another piece of a complicated puzzle that goes into the mobility services piece. So we're talking about uh, passengers on, on buses, uh, uh, trains, taxis, etc., uh, being uh, exposed to the uh, uh, coronavirus. Yeah, and even more, the whole aim that we're trying to do with the mobility as a service is really, at some point, get to um, a automated electric vehicle that will be it will take you where you want um, in place of the taxi or um, your private car and we're going to have to make people comfortable that when they get in it that whatever is left from the previous person well, is not there and that that extends as we're doing looking at shuttles and stuff we're, we're going to have a population that is much more aware and that wouldn't have been the topic of conversation uh, a year ago uh, if we'd been, been no. talking about this then, would it? No, it was, it was honestly um, had not been thought about by the ITS world. And now it is a major subject of consideration because it's now becomes an important thing. And we've already started to see um, in some countries reduction in uses of taxis and Uber and other things because people are worried about what was in that vehicle before them. So, Well, uh, talking about uh, what was uh, in, in, in a certain vehicle or what was, uh, what was happening before, this symposium has been going now for a number of years now. I know that you've been a, a regular uh, attendee here. I wanted to ask you, what's the value of this symposium to you and, and the wider intelligent transport community? Well, this is our 15th year and has always been one of the really top um, forums for bringing together senior level people and the ability for ITU with UNECE together to bring together the regulators and the industry people for a tremendous dialogue about what each side needs to do working with the other and I think there, there's no other 
forum that is similar. Well, thank you very much for taking the time and energy and, and effort, and I'm sure it, it wasn't easy to get here. But uh, uh, thanks very much indeed for joining us, and, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you.